let's go ahead and get into it. Like I mentioned there in the little intro, the little stinger there, we have Dalvin Cook news popping up. And of course, if we were going to see getting Dalvin Cook news in the offseason, it could be some bad news that maybe he got injured or maybe it's some good news that he got some some big deal or something like that. But instead, the bad news that we see is Dalvin Cook being released by the Vikings, something very unexpected, at least for myself. Uh, Jeremy, did you see this coming? Not at all. I mean, I was thinking with obviously what Minnesota has already lost, I mean, this is something that they definitely need. This is a big key piece to the Minnesota offense. I mean, now that you don't have Dalvin Cook and now that you don't have Adam Thielen, I mean, what the heck are they going to do? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just kind of looking at this. I think Dalvin Cook has been a, a an integral part of their, their offense for Absolutely. many years. And I was kind of looking over the Vikings website to see what they had on on, on the report. Uh, he's been there since 2017. He was a second round draft pick. And honestly, if you look at his stats and what he's done in performance, that's a steal at the second round. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and so, I mean, I, I don't know how you pass this guy up, uh, but it says the move comes uh, on on from Vikings.com. It says the move comes as the Vikings have had to make multiple cuts because of the salary cap. So it's obviously salary cap trying to find ways to, to maneuver wow. that salary but they're cutting a, a key piece of their offense, uh, you know, and I feel like there's a lot more areas that I, I would have gone personally um, before going to Delvin Cook. Um, but we, we kind of look, Cook ranked sixth in the NFL in 2022 season, 2022-2023 uh, season. He had 1,173 yards uh, on the ground. Uh, and then he was also highlighted, obviously, from he had an 81-yard touchdown, which was his career uh, long uh, by, against Buffalo. Uh, and it was also the second longest run in NFL in the NFL last season. Uh, so he's, he's, he's proved that he is obviously a top six in, in terms of yardage uh, running back in the NFL. Uh, not only that, but that, that play right there, that 81-yard play, that was something that sparked a big comeback against uh, Buffalo whenever they were down 27 to 10. Uh, and then, of course, we can also uh, remember one of the most crazy moments in my lifetime watching the NFL is whenever they were down 33 to zero against the Colts at halftime, not in the first period uh, in the first quarter or anything like that. It was at halftime, and they come out and, and and they win it. And a big part of that, of course, Justin Jefferson and uh, you know the the passing game was working well there. But Dalvin Cook was a big part of that, uh, and that was uh, partially because of a 64 yard catch uh, and run for a touchdown on a screen pass against the Colts there. Uh, and then he also had uh, you know that that one play drive and had a two point conversion right after that 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 tied the game with 215, uh, and they were able to overcome that deficit of 33 to zero, all because not not all because but a, a big part because of the momentum and the leadership that Dalvin Cook has and everyone at the at the, at the entire pr- the uh, franchise uh, they they all say great things about him bef- between the coaches and the GM and everybody there in the offices they all say good things about Dalvin Cook I, I mean does this make any sense to you to, to to release Dalvin Cook of all players not a single ounce like I'm a I'm on the same boat with you there's so many other variables or ways that I would have gone to Obviously, like you just mentioned, it's for salary cap space. Like I would have looked at a whole different perspective, but like you obviously just mentioned, but just looking at his stats, Dalvin Cook is a big key part of the Minnesota Vikings. Like he easily could have been, he could have been playing for somebody else, but obviously, with playing with the Vikings, then getting drafted to go into them, he was he was hot from the get go. Then obviously, he proved his point. He should be staying in Minnesota, but I mean, obviously, with what we just released. I know they released a little snippet about it on, I think it was Wednesday, yeah. that he was going to more likely be released. And I, I thought, no way. Well, like, I was thinking maybe he got in some sort of trouble. Yeah, something. But like, no, it's just simply because of salary salary cap cuts. And that just seems kind of almost unheard of. I can't think of a, a bigger release yeah. uh, than this, you know? And uh, I mean, of course, we can talk about DeAndre Hopkins, but that was seen from a mile away. Yeah. It was kind of coming to, to an end. The writing was on the wall there. Definitely. Um, and even even head coach Kevin O'Connell, uh, he, he made a statement uh, saying here, uh, reading this from the article from the Vikings website, it says, I hold Dalvin to the highest regard. I'm grateful for his contributions on and off the field. Dalvin is a tough, dynamic player and respected leader by his teammates, which was evident by his multiple seasons as a team captain. As a finalist for the 2022 Art Rooney Sportsmanship Award, Dalvin's approach to the game and his commitment to sportsmanship is clearly respected across the league. We appreciate Dalvin's positivity, energy, leadership, and we'll be pulling for him in the future uh, and then even looking at 
uh, I have to scroll down here because I know it's on here, but even looking at what the GM, and I won't even try to butcher his name here, um, uh, Adolfo Mensa uh, is his last name, uh, Quesi. Quesi Adolfo Mensa. I'm not sure. You can you can butcher me in the comments if you want. But uh, wow. the, the GM for the Vikings, he says, Delvin has been an incredible leader for this organization for years, and I quickly noticed how, how respected he is among everyone in our building. And he goes on to say, I'm fortunate to have been around such an enjoyable, talented, hardworking person like him over the last year. He's etched his name in Vikings history uh, with his production on the field, also by consistently giving back to the Vikings Foundation. We're thankful for everything Delvin brought to the Vikings. Sincerely wish him all the best in his future uh and what he's referring to there i believe he gave like close to ten thousand dollars in donations to the vikings uh foundation which is is something really good it's a it's a really good food truck that kind of goes back to to the community and stuff like that and he's been known to be a very good player on and off the field and that's what i've always loved about dalvin cook not only is he a great player on the field and putting up the stats that he does week in and week out but of course he's a good player off the field as well with some of these uh these things that we've heard about him but just all of the the high regards for him on and off the field he's a great leader and we know this that's looking at their statements it makes it even more surprising that dalvin cook is being released i know like obviously that statement it's just it's just not a short little itty bitty oh we wish you the best blah 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 like you can tell like what he said in that statement he really wishes that they didn't, weren't had to come to this situation to where they have to release Dalvin Cook. But, like, I guess you got to do what you got to do for salary cap space. But in my mind, the Minnesota Vikings next year are really, really going to regret the decision in letting go Dalvin Cook. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they are. Uh, and, and to bounce over to their their uh, depth chart right now um, in the running back room as of currently. Um, so it's not like with – with the reasoning that they, they released him, it's not like they're going to go after somebody big like a Derrick Henry who's kind yeah. of out there or pick up somebody else kind of along the same tier as Delvin. They're definitely going to be taking a step down. Definitely. Um, we've got Kenny uh, and, and, and Wangu, uh, if I can say his name right. And they've got some hard names to pronounce over there. Um, but, see, I believe he... He has been around for three years. Um, just la- last year alone, nine carries for 14 yards, no touchdowns. Wow. Uh, so that's one of the guys they have on their roster. Uh, and then they've got Dwayne McBride. Let's pull him up real quick and see what he's got. Uh, he's a rookie. Okay, so nothing last year. He's from UAB. Uh, and then, of course, they also have Alexander Madison, uh, which let's pull him up. I believe he's been in the year for five or in the league for five. Yes, five years. Last year, he had 74 uh, carries for 283 yards and five touchdowns. Uh, of course, we have to recognize that they're not going to have the stats of yeah. Dalvin Cook because Dalvin Cook was the offense uh, as far as rushing anyways. Absolutely. Um, but then, of course, they also have Ty Chandler, who's been in the year in the league for two years, uh, only six carries for 20, 20 yards last year, no touchdowns. So it's not like they have a big running back that they can lean on. No. I, I really, I mean, I've heard of their names. But I, I haven't really seen any production from any of these running backs because that's how productive uh, Dalvin, Cook, Dalvin has Cook has been. So, it, yeah, like you said, I think they're going to regret letting him go. I think they're going to have a hard time matching what they had with Dalvin Cook. I mean, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, like you said, they're already getting rid of Adam Thielen here. I don't know. Uh, did he have a team that he went to yet? Um, I'm drawing a blank. Um, I, I don't remember if he went to the Patriots or the Panther, Panthers, Panthers, right? I think yeah, so. yeah. So I think it was the Panthers. Um, so yeah, the, the, he's not there anymore. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm sure some of this is to try to keep around. I mean, you're paying Kirk Cousins a lot of money. Can you not schedule a meeting with him and be like, "Hey, I know we we offered you a lot of money, but do you want to keep Dalvin Cook? How how how, how important is this? he to your offense?" And of course, I think honestly, from what I know about Kirk Cousins, I feel like he's one of those guys that would be like, "Yeah, I'll take a little pay cut to keep him around." Definitely. Like, let's let's do it. I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, you know, it's just, it's just crazy, and not only that, but also to see where you know to to see Dalvin Cook how how good he was, but to see where the team was last year, making it so far, making it uh, all the way up to the playoffs, and and you you needed to add just a couple of small pieces to really complete that team. Uh, to really compete at the high level, and now you're taking away a big piece of it. Where are you going to get the the ground the the yards on the ground? Uh, and I just don't know. You've already named off the four running backs they have on their roster, and who are you going to pick up? Are you going to bring back Adrian Peterson, who's made it kind of obvious that he still wants to be in the league, even though he, I don't think he he no. can. 
Uh, I mean, I just don't know where you go. Maybe Marshawn Lynch. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're going to have to go after somebody old who's retired. Try try convincing him with a bag of Skittles or something. I yeah. don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know. Outside of these running backs, like outside of Dalvin Cook, I've never heard of any of these other running backs. Like, I know the same yeah, I know, goes. I know Dwayne McBride is a rookie, I believe. So, I mean, just uh, uh, maybe that's their option is just to go to that UAB running back they yeah, got in the, in, in the draft. Just throw a rookie into the into the midst of it and say here you go let's see what you got pretty much yeah yeah i just don't know i mean i'm I, i'm confused i want to hear from you guys in the comments too yeah, uh, whether, whether you're listening to us live or if you're if you're after we're done being live go ahead and put it down in the comments we want to hear from you yeah. what do the vikings do next for a running back option because like i said they're they're not going to go after a derrick henry uh or any of these other big names i feel like there's a couple other big names that i'm just drawing a blank on uh who are in the free agency right now that they could possibly go after but you're not going to go after a big name if you're going if you're releasing him for salary cap issues. 